Welcome. Today we're going to go over how to submit an outdoor recreation legacy partnership program application, also known as Orlet. First, we'll start off on the program web page here. As we scroll down, you'll see there's some tabs. We'll select the application process. And if we look down here a little bit, we're going to see applications must be submitted online before 5 p.m. Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. And here is the link to submit an application. So after we select that, we're going to be brought to the Office of Grants and Local Services homepage for grant applications. We're going to select the Outdoor Recreation Legacy Partnership or the Round 7 application, Submit Application. And here is the initial application. We've got some notes here about how to apply, and then also things to keep in mind when preparing an application. And I'm going to start with this top bullet. The online application platform operates best on Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Apple Safari web browsers. The platform does not support the use of Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. The person who starts the application is called an owner, and only in the submittable system, the account owner will be able to submit the application button. So there's also applicants can invite other team members to collaborate on the application, and I'll show you that a little later on. And also applicants can manually save by clicking the Save Draft button at the end of this application system. A red asterisk are required fields and we'll see down here we're going to go ahead and first put in the address of your agency you're going to save the address and continue and here we are in the application itself some of the same information we just went over and the application starts here and where you'll enter first your agency name dash project name and you'll see there's red asterisks next to some of these a red asterisk is a required field which must be filled out in order for you to submit the application now we talked about how to bring in collaborators well you're going to click on this manage collaborators button and then you're going to add the email addresses of the individuals you'd like to collaborate with in real time they will receive a link and have access to the form until you complete your submission Remember, as the owner, only you will be able to submit the application. So as you'll see, here's the application. It's got some stuff in here that you'll be supplying. Um, we've got the census tract information. Um, here's the screening tool that you'll go to. You'll find your census tract and make sure that it is eligible. As you'll see, identified it as disadvantaged and it says yes. That means it is an eligible site. And if you look on the map, you'll see there's a kind of a gray overlay. That gray overlay is identifying disadvantaged census tracts. You're going to use that tool, the environmental justice screening tool, and take a screenshot and upload it here. And as we continue through the application, it is a pretty short and straightforward application. We'll see that we get down here to the very end and there are a few final reminders it is again anything with the red asterisk must be completed so if you do click the submit application button and it does not allow you to submit the application it is most likely because you've missed one of those areas that requires an entry also remember the responses must be complete and submitted before january 31st 2024 at five o'clock p.m the system closes on the dot at 5 o'clock p.m., not 5.01, so we recommend that you go ahead and get an early start on this and try and get it submitted a little bit before 5 o'clock p.m. And here we talked about earlier, we've got the Save Draft button. As you work on your application, you can scroll down here, Save Draft, to keep your data saved. And we have the Submit Application button. This button is only going to be visible to the account owner. If you are a collaborator on the application and you scroll down here, you will not see the submit application button. You will only see the save draft button. If you have any questions, you can also email your competitive review project officer for your project's county. So if you select this link, it's going to take you to a list of competitive review project officers, which are in the green column. 
and associated with the county where the project is going to take place. If you were in Butte County, you'd be calling Julianne Coronado, and here is her phone number and her email address. That concludes our video. Have a great day.